Hi, thank you for joining us today. My name is Isaac Bartz, and perhaps what brought you here was your interest in DPM, or Digital Portfolio Management. DPM is an application and service management workspace that's open to all of ServiceNow's ITSM customers. But before talking about DPM, we're actually going to take a step back and talk about how to populate DPM. And that's with Service Portfolio Management, or SPM. SPM is a key component in populating DPM and making sure you have the data that's most important to you and your organization. Today's agenda is going to cover five key aspects. We're going to start off by creating a service portfolio, going into a taxonomy of that portfolio, its nodes and its leaves. Then we're going to create a service and its offerings using Service Builder. From there, we're going to tie all of that into DPM. So how do KPI groups get populated and in turn, how do they populate the DPM workspace? And then we'll wrap it up with some key takeaways. So to begin, we're going to get into creating a new service portfolio. Most of what you see today is going to be in the global scope and I am a system administrator. So going to the filter up top, we're going to start with service portfolios. And ultimately what we're doing is we're creating a new portfolio. We've got a few already there, but by clicking on that new button, let's start from scratch and see everything that goes into it. Our name and short description is now populated. You will need to set a service portfolio owner and a service portfolio manager. After that, we can go ahead and save the form and start working on our taxonomy notes. As we get into taxonomy notes, just a few things to point out. Before Utah, portfolio structure had a taxonomy node of layers and nodes. Now with Utah and beyond, you are only opting into utilizing nodes. We no longer require layers. This is a system property. It's a very simple change if you used to be on the old structure prior to the Utah release, but if you want to be on the new structure where we're only utilizing nodes, that's a system property that can be changed. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. Our service portfolio is going to consist of two branches, one starting with hardware and the other with software. So underneath this related list here, taxonomy nodes, we clicked on that new button and we're adding to this service portfolio. So the node is going to be hardware and let's go ahead and add a short description as well. We will also need to define an owner. So that will be populated before we proceed and submit that. And now we're ready to submit this. No need to save it. Once we submit it, we're going to go right in and create a second node, a second branch, if you will, utilizing that new button once again. And this time we're going to populate it with software. Once our own is populated, we're going to save this instead of submitting it. We want to stay on this taxonomy node because you'll notice in the related list, we have the ability to add a node to this node as well. So we're clicking on that new button. Keep in mind, we're in the software taxonomy node and we're going to specify collaboration software. Because we are that additional layer down, we do need to define that we're back on that smart devices portfolio, that service portfolio, and an owner will be defined for this collaboration software node. This is everything we need, so we'll submit that and return to the screen. When we click update once again, we will return to the smart devices portfolio. You'll see the taxonomy nodes, their parents, and who is the owner. Okay, so our taxonomy is created. At this point, we're going to build out the service and its offerings using Service Builder. We'll start that off by launching Service Builder and you'll see that pop up in a new tab. This brings us to what is a service. 
Our customers are utilizing services in different ways, and that's completely fine. But from the ServiceNow standpoint, a service is a means of delivering value to customers by facilitating outcomes. So there's two types that we're going to look at, a business service or a technical service. A business service is published to business users, typically underpins business capabilities, and a technical service is published to service owners that typically underpins a business or application service. So starting this wizard that's in front of us, we're gonna create a business service and begin by populating the required fields, in this case, service name and so forth. As we populate the form, we will need to reference the portfolio that we created in the previous step. So that's gonna be called the Smart Devices Portfolio. It'll bring up the different nodes that we've created at that point. So what we're gonna find here is our hardware node. From there, we need to define the phase and status of this as well. So in phase, we're going to actually select catalog, and that's going to open up that service from the catalog. Underneath status, let's put this as operational. We'll navigate on the left side here, you'll notice that filter, and underneath details, you'll see team. So team is our next step in the wizard. We're gonna populate the form with our owner, and that's gonna be Sofia Lopez. There's a delegate and a delivery manager as well. These individuals are responsible for that day-to-day -day delivery and management. So our core management team has been defined. At this point, you can review what you've populated and ultimately we are going to submit this. You'll notice that we do receive an error at this point. And that's a reminder that a service record can't be moved to the catalog phase. Remember, we had selected catalog until it has at least one child offering. So let's go ahead and fix that underneath manage offerings. To create that child offering, let's go ahead and click on that new button. And we'll populate the form. Once we have the name entered, we're also going to need to select the consumer type. In this case here, we will use internal. The phase will be for catalog. So underneath the fields that we're currently looking at, we can scroll down and change that to catalog underneath phase. Status will be operational. So now we've satisfied that requirement for the offering so we can continue to the team and save and close. While we're here, we're going to create a second offering utilizing that new button. Once again, we're going to fill out one for gloves and then there will be a third offering for instruments as well. Now you notice all three offerings are in there for us. With all of our offerings in place, we can now review this and submit without receiving an error message. So our service will be built at this point. You notice back on the home page of our dashboard as well, if you look at the service we just built, in this case here, haptic devices, that second tab over will show us that it is in a published state. So we've succeeded in building this out. So let's get into KPI groups and populating the DPM workspace. We created a new service portfolio. The taxonomy nodes were created. Then we built out that service and its offerings using Service Builder. So let's bring it all together into the DPM workspace. Details about the portfolio would actually be available in the DPM workspace right now, but we need to assign KPI groups before any performance metrics are visible in the workspace. 
So from the administrative side, let's go ahead and open up KPI group mappings. We've already built out KPIs, but we want to make sure this is mapped to the service we just built. So clicking on the new button allows us to pick the existing KPI group and we want to pick performance snapshot. And now the portfolio appears and we will be selecting the smart devices portfolio that we've already built out. And it's as simple as that. We can click the submit button and see how that reflects in the digital portfolio management workspace. So along the top bar, click on that workspaces button and that shows us digital portfolio management or DPM. And we will start by looking at an enterprise portfolio. We'll see our existing enterprise portfolios and you'll notice the smart devices portfolio. Let's go ahead and select that. And here we have it. The performance snapshot is there. Now many of the widgets are currently blank. It doesn't, doesn't have any data at this time, but this is the fundamentals of getting started from building out the service to seeing it inside of DPM. And we hope that this has been helpful familiarizing yourself with that process. So let's summarize those key takeaways. Service portfolios can help build the foundation required for DPM. Your data is already there. Even if you're just using incidents and changes, you haven't built out your services, DPM will still be able to utilize the data that's there. We have to structure it and connect the KPIs that are important to your organization. And then you'll be able to start taking away from the benefits of DPM. And that's managing the health of your services and applications, starting all the way back from plan to run and maintain. We really want you to try this yourself. It's easy to install. DPM is its own plugin. Uh, service portfolio management is separate from that. There's no additional licensing required for you to start as an ITSM customer. If you want to learn more about DPM, YouTube has a really great playlist. And if you search for launch and learn digital portfolio management, you're going to be able to see a lot more about DPM and its benefits. We hope this video has been helpful for you to get started and start enjoying the way DPM can assist the health of your organization.